Hey guys, here always in PTXRoots.com. You're watching our video unboxing and assembly of the Paxa A1 satellite telecommunication satellite model. This is a pretty interesting piece of kit. We don't usually review or take a look at stuff like this, but we got this in our mail. We thought it was quite fascinating. Essentially, again, it's that it's a model of the telecommunications model that was just recently sent into space, um, and uh, it's just something interesting to take a look, look at a replica of this device um, and. It seems to be a pretty rare collector's item, so we're just going to dive in and take a look at it. So taking a look at the box, you can see that it's uh, pretty nicely packaged. Um, it was actually, a, I, get, I believe, a Chinese telecommunication satellite. Um, and you can see that inside it's nicely packaged with foam. And we also have a certificate of uh, collection certificate stating how many, what model number I got, because there's only a very um, select number of production models that are actually going to be uh, created, which is quite fascinating, which makes this, again, a collector's item. And it talks more about the satellite. Um, the Paxa-1R satellite was successfully launched um, by whatever vehicle. It, the model is of zinc alloy die casting process. The surface plating is 24K gold <laughs> design, exquisite workmanship, and some some advertisement there, but it's a 24K gold, I guess, surface, and it's a, um, there's only, there's only, what is this, that says 1,000 that will be made, and um, tells you who made it, and there's some certification by the side there, so it seems to be authentic product. Pretty interesting. I'm not exactly sure how much this retails for, um, I, I guess, and it's a very wild guess, around $50, $60, but I have to really check online. There is a stand included that just says Paxet 1R, and it's got a foam base, so you can use it on a desk service. It's actually made out of wood, I believe, which looks pretty nice. The satellite itself, which is, again, it's die metal alloy, and again, it's a one-to-one, -one, well, it's not a one-to-one, -one, but it is a one-to-one, -one, I guess, ratio in terms of replication, and it has all the grooves and nuts and bolts of the original satellite. Kind of fascinating. Over here, we have the actual satellite plates, I believe, and that's pretty much it in the box. So in here, wrapped in tissue paper and taped on, is I believe, yes, the plates. I'm going to just rip this out here, if I can. These are the replications of the satellite, um, the actual satellite parts, which as you can see here, it's going to be quite fascinating. Hopefully I can get this out. It's kind of tightly put in there. It's kind of taped on. Oh, there we go. And yes, this is quite interesting. So people working at NASA, people who like space and telecommunication stuff and satellites will probably really like this model. Um, you can see all the grooves that represent the solar panel. Kind of fascinating. And of course the second one on the base over here. Let's see if we can get this open. If there's only 1,000 produced, and it is quite rare, which is interesting. And the second one. And finally, we have the centerpiece, which I'm not really sure what it is yet. Probably a screw to assemble the whole piece together. And hopefully, there we go, get it out. And let's see if we can get it in. So it looks like we just plot in the center of the satellite like so and hopefully can screw in maybe i'm being silly i'm probably being silly perhaps this has something to do with it no it doesn't seem like it does that um there is an instruction manual on in the box that tells you how to assemble this which is kind of strange <sighs> i've actually never seen the satellite before so even pictures of it online so i'm not really sure if i'm even doing this correctly so it seems like this would be where the two arms would go, but I'm not sure at all. And it seems like it's going in, but it's extremely wobbly, which is quite concerning. Maybe that's that's it. It's extremely wobbly. So, so much for excellent craftsmanship, like the advertisement stated there in the certification statement. Maybe I'm doing this completely wrong. I have absolutely no idea. I wonder what this does. I am so confused. 
Anyways, it looks like it goes like this. And the base, maybe it just goes in like this. Oh, there you go. Now it's going in. And it just sits like this. So I get this is some kind of um, extra material that actually isn't part of the assembly process, which is kind of strange. But we'll put that aside, and this is basically the completed model. It's quite fascinating, actually, to take a look at. Um, quite a large model. Didn't expect it to be this large. And there are the satellite plates. I guess they kind of rotate as well, which is kind of interesting. So thanks for watching this video on Simply. And uh, first, like this pack set one, our gold-plated model version of the real telecommunication satellite here at osmbtxreviews.com.